Okay, in this video, I'm going to go through and show you how to replace the screen on the Toshiba Portage Z935-P300. So basically, uh, this is the Z930 series, and this is the Portage Z935-P300. I have a little cracked screen there, and so I'm going to replace it. Uh, and put it put together a new screen once uh, once I take this out so all you need really is one of these it's actually fairly straightforward it's all basically snapping off the little uh, edge here and then pulling out the screen so I've already gone through this once and I want to show you uh, how you can so you basically uh, try to snap this out and you, you kind of do it gently and try to get you know just it kind of basically snaps out pretty easily. Uh, if if yours is a little tougher, it's it's probably be careful not to crack the plastic, but you can essentially just kind of go through and snap these pieces out. And and really, it's just this piece of plastic that doesn't have any screws, which is pretty cool. And kind of do it gently. So you don't break anything uh, just kind of bend it back a little and then that piece comes out no screws at all and that's pretty cool and then this is a screen that's actually just stuck on here and it's it's held by this uh, there's little two tapes behind here uh, self adhesive tapes that stick the screen there and then you got the connector here so try to gently kind of pull the screen out uh, this one's cracked anyway, but I don't want to crack it anymore. So kind of just put on it, and there it comes. And then kind of lay it down, and essentially take this. And uh, there's a little tape here. Take that tape out, and off it comes. Now yours may be a little bit more. Uh, might require a little bit more of an effort to pull that out, but just be careful on those pins. I'd actually taken this out before creating this video, so that's why it, uh, it came out a little easier. So now that's that's out. Again, no screws or anything, just uh, basically snapping these out. And now I will put the new one on. So that's kind of going to be the, the the fun part here. So let me open that up and see what's in there. I haven't really done that yet. Uh, try to find a way to uh, open this, this package up. So fragile handle with care. Just kind of make sure I'm going to move the computer a little bit and try to open these. So there it comes. Ooh, there it is. Yes, express fax pack. screen looks like how exciting I'll make sure I don't mess up this now what I did order what I had before was a reflective screen you can see the reflection there I ordered a matte screen for this and uh, that's going to be fun to kind of see the difference so there it is uh, looks kind of similar to what I have I'll open it up and we're going to set this up right in front of the recording so that should be a live demonstration of making sure this works Put that out carefully there's the screen so it's a little less reflective uh, but but at least um, at least it looks right so I'm gonna put this in together kind of slowly connect this up let's hope it all fits Need to be careful here. This pen doesn't fit, that's going to be a problem. There it goes. Perfect. So there it is. That's kind of uh, how it looks once it's in there. Get snug, put the tape, 
then let's flip this up and it says here don't touch so try not to do that it looks like it uh, snugly fit and now before I put the cover on I'd like to turn it on so just hit the on button and see what happens there it is Ooh, there we go it's uh, perfect it's a nice ref uh, matte screen it's not ref as reflective but uh, looks really good and uh, let's see if I can get on increase the brightness a little bit and see if I can make it look a little better there it is and that's it got it set up now I snap the pieces together close all these programs so there's no one skyping me while I'm doing this but there it is now I put this together uh, so again one more thing I want to do is just tap these in and probably not a good idea to press on it while it's on so I'm going to turn it off before I do any more I'd like to just make sure everything's working and the screen looks wonderful some things work in the background, turn it off, there it goes. So that's done. Now I just want to kind of press this a little bit, make sure it's snug, make sure this is in there, and then let's snap all this back. So ooh, I don't want that tape. So that tape can be taken out. I don't really want to see that tape. actually the tape for the entire screen so good idea to remove that I didn't know that was on there oh, that's wonderful. just so cool see that not there great that goes away now let's put this bad boy back on and I'm gonna put the top first and then and then put the rest of it so I'll try to snap these on Really, it's just a matter of snapping. Uh, so, put a couple of corners, put that one first. Put this one now. One thing I did notice, this thing is not quite on right. Make sure that's stable. And snap it back. It's a little tricky to get that all snapped right. Let's try this part. Yeah, there we go. It's trying to snap. Go. That's three, four, seven, that's five, six, seven, there's eight. Okay, so that's kind of now we just get the rest of it. There is one. You can kind of feel them, uh, some of these bumps, and there. You can, there we are. So you feel some of these bumps as you press down. Don't press too hard that it's going to cause issues but that's it and that, that's a uh, super non-reflective it's much nicer than the reflective I was having a hard time with the other screen uh, especially in the light when I look at this in the light it kind of reflects a lot uh, but this one doesn't seem to reflect as much now we'll have to see how it works with uh, the quality of the actual image I've heard that it doesn't work as well or sometimes you give up the quality of image for uh, not having the reflecting reflection but that looks like it's set and that's it so now I turn it back on and let's hope it works there it is it's back on it's actually pretty good I don't see anything wrong with the screen it doesn't feel all that bad yet I like to use it a few times but uh, you know make sure it's snug in there oh, actually it's not bad at all so there it comes and so that's it that's how you set up your screen uh, super excited to get this back up and running uh, was I bought this computer about uh, oh six months ago and uh, obviously did not buy the extended warranty which covers the screen 
So, uh, but the, for the price of the warranty, I was able to get this screen, and uh, so I'm not too upset. Uh, I was when it cracked, uh, running around upset, but I think this works just great. And uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully that helps and gets you guys up and going. Take care.